Email is like a prison. A prison with no walls. And no toilet. Hey, strong bad. I was just wondering what you would be like in a video game. And what it would be like. From Taylor R. Queen Creek Alcatraz. Whoa. From somebody on the inside. Get out soon, Taylor. What would I be like in a video game? Well, that all depends on what system we're talking about. Like if it was on one of those really old machines, the graphics would probably only look kinda like me. And I'd run all around the futuristic maze, collecting things that look nothing like me. Man, that'd be pretty awesome. Ooh, ooh, I could also be in one of those 3D vector games, and there'd be this awesome huge 3D version of my head floating around. Like it looks so awesome, girls would probably try to make out with the screen, and we'd have to program it to be like, Back off, baby. And in this one, the player wouldn't control me, cause you can't control me! Instead, you'd be some kind of 3D shield guy with a shield. Some kind of spiky-headed 3D cyber shield guy with a cyber shield. And you'd have to block my perplexing 3D geometric attacks or face certain 3D doom. Your head explode. Naturally, there would be some problems with bad translation. On the other hand, it might be cool to be in one of those text-based adventures. You know, for those intellectual people with better imaginations. It'd be like, ye find yourself in yon dungeon. Ye see a flask. Obvious exits are north, south, and Dennis. And you'd be all like, get ye flask. And it'd say, you can't get ye flask. And you just have to sit there and imagine why on earth you can't get ye flask. Because the game's certainly not going to tell you, and there's no precious graphics to help you out either. But oh man, the best thing ever would be if I was in one of those brand new super photorealistic games that take like tons of megs and megs of memories just to play it. I'd look super cool, running around on some grass maybe. Or there'd be like, um, a rhino there too. A hungry rhino. And I'd have to, I guess, feed him. And, um... Snakes? So hopefully one day technology will catch up with my advanced thinking, so all the ladies can start making out with their TV screens. Until next time, Taylor, this one's for you. And all my people's got sent up the river. Thank <laughs> you.